If you've ever visited the 9-11 Museum and Memorial, when you first walk into the museum, you see the pictures of 2,977 people who lost their lives that day. And when you emerge out of the museum, you have a lot of clarity as to those that would do us harm and the fight that we have against those who want to destroy our way of life and the values that we live every day as Americans. I was also reminded that we need leadership today more than ever. Our enemies are constantly adapting and our focus must be clear. In the speech that the president gave earlier this week, it was really just more of the same, pointing fingers instead of taking principled action. What you're going to see again this week in the House is important action as we wait on the president's strategy to destroy ISIS. The reform to the visa waiver program is only just one of the, the tools that we believe we must be moving forward on to ensure that we're taking the steps so that America can be safe. More importantly, when a threat emerges, we have an obligation to target it and keep the fight against terrorism out of America. That is, after all, our fundamental obligation, protecting the safety and security of every American in this country.